The industry is probably at its most hyper state. And we've been at it, you know, call it roughly 20 years, you know, from the time to home route to, you know, writing a business plan and starting a company. And, um, you know, we're all in different situations as far as our ownership goes. You know, for us, uh, we had to raise a lot of capital from shareholders. And, you know, no one individual owns the majority of this company. So, was kind of looking at it and thinking to myself how quickly the last 20 years went. I wonder, you know, we, we had founders have always prided ourselves on our product, and that's, that, that is mission one. We pay attention to our product, we come in every day and try and make our beer better, and, and that's it. And fundamentally, the profits and things like that are secondary. I was wondering to myself, you know, what, where is it 20 years from now, and how do we make sure that a brand carries on, you know, beyond our days? And that's why we started to look and think about the succession planning. Not that we're getting out or anything, but we knew that if right now there was an opportunity, and, and believe me, in this crowded beer space throughout the world, there's very limited people or breweries out there that would be a good partner. And I think you find it probably a lot of industries when you're looking to maybe make a, a you know a transition or a transaction, you pick the right time. And I knew the time was right. And right now we could dictate the way that contract was going to look, and who that buyer was going to be, and how they were going to take care of our product for the future. And uh, we had control at that point. Uh, five years from now, you know that that buyer could have been gone. You know we didn't know who the buyer was at that time, but it could have been gone. And I, I kid you not, we talked to. You know, probably, I don't know, 10, 20 PE firms, you name the brewery, uh, and, uh, we talked to them, and uh, it became very apparent, you know, when we met Al, that this was, the, this was the right choice for our brand, that's why we did it. Yeah, I don't know if most of you know, we're really talking inside baseball, I don't know, it's big news here in Grand Rapids, but if you're not following the beer world, you don't follow necessarily how BEC and private equity are really circling our industry right now, different funds are spinning up, and I was talking to Mike, uh, we're kind of supposed to be having a conversation, but you're all here, so I'm trying to <laughs> not be kind of not here, but you know, we were talking earlier about how uh, we were at our national conference and the amount of uh, private equity firms and, and middlemen and banking are just around wanting to take meetings with you, and uh, you know, when we first went, and I think my first uh, uh, CBC Craft Brewers Conference, uh, as it's called, that the Brewers Association puts on was uh, in Cleveland, and that was in the, uh, I want to say it was uh, 98, 99, and it was the most fraternal group, of, it was just a bunch of brewers hanging out in dark bars, and now it's turned into, you know, taking meetings with distributors, and you're more lucky we even see each other, I, I think I saw Dave for a minute, um, but you're flying all over, so, um, and it's interesting too that you thought about it? Um, I have. I'm in a little bit different spot um, where I I own the um, you know a super majority of our company, right? so I'm not um, maybe under the same pressures or have the same concerns as I can. Um, I guess uh, control my own destiny a little bit more. Not to say that you couldn't, but uh, looking for uh, maybe taking some chips off the table and such has entered my mind. But I'm kind of uh, I can kind of chart my own course. And uh, I don't, uh, for good or bad, I don't have the answer to anything else, yeah. and except for my own teammates. So um, I have thought about it. I've taken a couple of meetings, uh, but frankly, private equity all say the same thing. Uh, they want to come into my company, own the majority of my company, uh, keep me around, and then uh, buy me out, or I have to buy them back out in six or seven years. And that was that was the most interesting thing through this, uh, you know, last year at that time. Is that you know? I eventually went home one night and realized, oh, I don't want to offend anyone, but for us, private equity sucked because <laughs> the interest um, in your product is not there. I mean, they're a machine that makes money, and that's fine. But we're a machine that makes beer, and we truly care about it. And the reason we were there was to ensure that you know, when someday we retire, and what happens, and you know. It, became very evident that we needed a strategic partner. We needed to talk to brewers. And we didn't find that domestic.